Okay, so this is my second week of COVID lockdown. I cannot handle it anymore. I've walked the beach, I've walked the park, I've walked here, I've walked there. Uh, Eli's gone back to school today, Jay's back at work. So I'm just popping over to Thelmy Lakes. Um, I heard that they've actually got water in them now. I've never seen them with water in them. Um, this is what they used to look like and here I am all right I don't remember anything about this place so I'm just going to wing it Slades Road Memorial Drive oh I don't know let's go figure it out huh <laughs> Okay, so last time I was here with Jay and Eli, we were able to walk all the way out to the middle of there where you'd see a little bit of mud in the middle of the lake. Now, this is incredible, what a transformation. isn't it? I can only assume that they're trying to keep this tree standing because perhaps it is a hollow and there's perhaps something living in there that needs to be protected or maybe the tree's got some significance to the area. I don't know if you do know why they're holding the tree together with all the straps please let us know drop a comment down in the comments down below and we'll sort this out huh? Okay, I did make a bit of an error before. Uh, the first spot I went to wasn't the place that I was referring to. This one actually is the spot where we stopped and had lunch. And again, same situation though. We were right out in the middle. It was dry as. A bit spongy in the middle where all the grasses had dried up, but this is definitely the spot. So still. I think I'll get the other camera out, get my backpack out, and we'll do the walk right around. We've got some time to kill, so let's do that. coming up around 
because we had Eli at the time and he was knee high to a grasshopper so we didn't really do too much walking with him but now that I'm by myself I might actually check out the whole track it's a two hour 6k return walk so shouldn't be too bad let's go place. I think I've been walking probably for about an hour now. I've had the frogs in this here and the birds all around the rest of me. Such a lovely place. Like you can really breathe here. I'm loving it. Split right down the middle. One went that way, this one went that way. Imagine being here and hearing this. Ah, oh, it would have been so loud. Anyway, it's a really clean break. The tree doesn't even look that unhealthy, just I think the ground gave up on it. <laughs> then the rest of it went with it. Okay, so I'm going to keep on walking. Not sure how much further I've got to go. The whole time that you walk, like yeah, you've got the river next to you, or the lake next to you, but you're just looking at these walls. And you're thinking to yourself, what's up there? I can't be bothered actually going up there, I'm just going to stick to the track. I'm having two mice of time down here. Alright. I don't think we've got too far to go. I'm not worried if we do or we don't. It's very cold still. Like I'm not producing enough energy to warm myself up. That's how easy the track is. I've got the sun on me. But only in spots. Got a big stem on him. Such a little, little base. All right, let's get back down to the track and see where this thing goes. <laughs> this is only like 20 meters up from where I just was recording that tree down. It looks like I've literally just walked into some kind of rainforest setting. It's gorgeous in here. Even the 
air that I'm breathing is, is it's a lot it's got this chill in it like you would have if you were down in some kind of ravine or something like that I mean that's probably just the winter air and I haven't been well last week so my lungs are struggling a little bit but don't worry I had a COVID test all clear but um yeah I can really taste the freshness in the air here it's uh really unreal it's good to feel every so often if you can find a place where it's not so dry and air's moist the ground's moist and cool not wet just you know fresh very few things can beat it all right i heard an impasse no that just goes around there that's the uh still got the lake just here Remember what I said about the escarpment up there? Just want to check out what's up there. I'm assuming this guy was once up there and he's rolled down. Let's say down here. Now this must have happened a long time ago because we've got trees that look like they've been there forever. These trees did not stop this rock. My best guess is it's rolled down there and this little valley here is littered with these massive boulders all the way along here probably the biggest one I've found so far like that's huge anyway Do be careful people these rocks that's bigger than a car ah. <coughs> just spotted a tree that's fallen down there's a few of them but this one looks like it could get me a, a pretty good view of the water if I was to perhaps climb up it yep. uh, nowhere near the water but it's still worth having a look at Without hurting myself, hopefully. All right, no one knows I'm here, so I better be careful. All right, <laughs> the problem is climbing these trees is I don't have a real good hold of my camera and I'm not about to drop all the way down there if I don't have to. So, all right, I'm getting out of this tree. Eep. All right, branch is moving. <sighs> right. What am I gonna do? Ah, uh, let's just be normal. the track 
Okay, so I just checked the GPS. I am nearly at the end of the track now before it meets back onto the road at the top of this lake, then crosses back and then you follow the fire trail down to the car parks. However, we're not gonna be doing that. Of course not. I've got like 10 minutes left of footage on here. Now that escarpment that I've been talking about, this trail links back up, you walk up a hill, and then you follow that all the way back to that point where we saw the yellow ribbon on the track. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where that goes. I'll have a look on the way back. So, despite how much time I have left, I am going to do that. What do you guys reckon? I think the distance will probably be about the same walking on the road. It's just, this will be a little bit more fun and hopefully when I'm up there, if I can get up there, we'll be able to get some good views of this lake. Anyway. Silly me. I just remembered that because I, I didn't want to use the big camera today for the vlog. I just had the microphone on the GoPro, so that's what I've been using. Crikey, it's a big root ball, eh? It's a bigger tree. So, anyway, I just clicked with me in my mind. I've got all this space left on this particular camera that I could be shooting everything in and you can change the microphone. So yeah, that's what I've done. I've taken the microphone off the GoPro, put it on the camera, because the onboard camera mic is rubbish at best. Okay. Well, it's a good view of the, the lake just here. Let's go down and have a quick look. I'm running out of light here. Yeah, right there, so this is the very top. So I'm about to walk right around it. Can you see me? Focus on me. There we go. So I'm about to walk right around it. So it would probably be just going up through there and back down the road, it's just behind that row of trees. But I'm going to be heading up that hill there. That's what I'm going to do. For some unknown reason. I love this spot here, eh? I don't know if you're allowed on the water, now that there is water. Have a little paddle, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Well, we best be gone. Yeah, that's a bit wet down here. Oh god, where's the track? can see the escarpment's not so high now so I'm reckoning that I should be able to just walk straight up there in a minute. Is that a bit better? Yeah, the branch has got to be here on the track somewhere. Now I don't particularly want to just walk straight up there to find the track and do a little shortcut because I don't know how accurate the maps are that I'm following so that track might not even be there anymore, who knows? I don't know so I'm not going to take that risk, not when I already have to be back around 4, 4.30 to pick up Eli from school. What's that?
So yeah, I'm not gonna get myself lost before. Well, I can't really get lost. The car's just over there somewhere. Lovely, lovely walk. Loving it. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Crossing that. It'll do me. Well, that's not the track I was expecting. All right, let me check my GPS. See that? That's where I should have gone in. I've walked right past it somewhere. Oh well. Goes up 350 meters in height and back down. Back down to here, and that's where I'm parked. Okay. So guys, seeing as I've walked this much further past the point where I'd go up the hill. I'm uh, going to just head down the road back to the car. It's a long walk, it's boring, so I'm going to cut it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the walk. It's really worth coming out here, man. You can do it in a couple of hours. Um, spend all day out here if you want to enjoy what it has to offer. To check out all the uh, tracks. Um, it does look like there's some motorbike activity in here too, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, apart from that, what are we doing tomorrow? I might try and hit up the escarpment or at Wollongong near Bulleye. I saw a track in there today. I thought I might want to go and check that one out. So keep peeled for that one, guys. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, see you on the tracks. Ain't dry no more.